Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. Uh, so I also got my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in pharmaceutical chemistry. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you had any problems with homework or you needed some tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today. All right, so question number one asks, a laser pulse with wavelength 532 nanometers contains 3.85 meters of energy. And then they ask, I guess it's uh, millijoules of energy. That doesn't make sense. So millijoules of energy, how many photons are in the laser pulse? Uh, so first I'm just going to write down everything that I know. I know that, uh, oops, the wavelength of the laser pulse is 532 nanometers. And I'm also just going to convert this to meters, just so that everything is in the same units. So it'll just be 532 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. And we also know the energy of this laser pulse. I'm going to put energy of pulse, and it's 3.85, uh, and I'm assuming that this is millijoules, uh, but I'm going to convert this to joules. So it's just going to be 3.85 times 10 to the negative 3 joules. And then this is in the laser pulse. Okay, so we know the wavelength. So this is like a two-part question. Because first, we are going to calculate the energy of a single photon. So this energy is different than the energy of the laser pulse. Because the question asks how many photons are in the laser pulse. So first, we're just going to figure out how much energy is in a single photon. And to do that, we use the equation E equals hc over lambda. So h is Planck's constant, and its value is 6.626 times uh, 10 to the negative 34. And its units are joules times seconds. So this is why I converted everything to joules, just so that we can use constants like this. Uh, same goes for the speed of light, which is our next variable, c. So the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8, and its units are in meters per second. So this is why I converted the wavelength to meters, because I can just plug it in right now. At the bottom, the wavelength is 532 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Uh, so now, if we solve for this, you'll notice that the units cancel out pretty well. The seconds cancel out here. Metal meters cancel out as well. And then we're left of with an energy value of 3.74 times 10 to the negative 19. And then this is in joules. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. When we want to calculate for the number of photons, it 
it's actually going to be the energy of the pulse, the laser pulse, divided by the energy of a single photon. So all we have to do is plug in those values. So it's going to be 3.85 times 10 to the negative 3 joules. And this is divided by 3.74 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So these joules will cancel out. And for the number of photons, we end up getting 1.03 times 10 to the 16, I believe, photons. Okay, so let's see the answer from our junior tutor. Uh, they said, to calculate the number of photons present in the laser, the number of photon photons present in the laser is, the energy of the laser is, um, this looks like it's missing very, a lot of important information that needs to be filled in the blanks. So I'm just going to write out what I did First, we need to calculate the energy of a photon using E is equal to HC over lambda. Well, I'll put wavelength. Um, I guess I'll just put in the values. I'll just put these in square brackets. Which is equal to 3.74 times 10 to the power of negative 19 tools for number of photons e pulse over e photon is equal to And I got 1.03 times 10 to the 16 photons.